the t20 world cup will be happening in next one month right out of india in the caribbean and the you know the us around region right canadian region and uh, how will be the india prospect for the t20 world cup and what better to start with the rohit sharma uh, you know astrology how how things are favoring right last time india lost it i have been saying it because uh, he he has a chart which is more uh, you know on site oriented or if, uh, you know whenever he goes travels across uh, uh, different continents he gets maximum success in india he has not got that kind of fruits of uh, his uh, talent right and uh, if you see even in the ipl also right now if you see this rohit sharma chart this is the left hand side is the d1 chart the right hand side is the d9 chart this is an uh, overall uh, analysis and prediction of a chart you need a personalized uh, analysis reading or you know guidance of your birth chart you can whatsapp and email and we not only provide predictions we also give solutions remedies guidance upayas mantras if you have a job problem marriage problem relationship career or any any health issues or any any business or life problems right so you you can always whatsapp and uh, email and coming back to the video uh, on the rohit sharma kundli right if you see the 8th house right where the maximum planet combination he is a uh, leo rising um, sign right and the 8th house is venus rahu and jupiter and the uh, t20 world cup is happening out of india which is the rahu element is coming into picture this time i think um, even if he loses it, some initial matches he should be crossing the quarter final semi final and you know probably he should get the collective efforts if he wants to lift the t20 world cup but the rahu sign here in the 8th house is a, a, a definitely a good prospect for him to play out of india to bring the t20 world cup right back to india uh, having said that right if you see the combination uh, moksh trikon this is 4 8 12 right here the problem is not with the 8th uh, house or the 4th house where the saturn is placed right because saturn is also very important to win matches he may as i said win or uh, neutralize some of the matches or based on his other team players uh, but the uh, the 12th house where the gulika mandi is placed which is giving him humongous challenges humongous problems right so he should be careful he should not think everything will be offered in a plate and he can win matches right um, the way the world cup happened in india and then uh, it was finally a dark dream for uh, in the final right he should not repeat that let him lose some of the initial matches also doesn't matter finally you know you should win the uh, final uh, tournament not just one or two initial match- matches right and even if you see the navamsha chart Uh, where the scorpio rising right and you make it a rashi tulya navamsha because is a leo rising even if you make it a rashi tulya navamsha right and here again it goes to the fourth house all the three combination the venus rahu right and uh, but jupiter is moving towards the saturn house right so this is where he need the help of the master saturn is master rahu is foreign and if this combination rohit sharma can definitely uh, create the best moments of his life to live the world cup but condition all people should support him and all people should play together and then um uh, he he should believe uh, that some of the matches he if he loses also doesn't matter so and 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 he he he, he should be ready sometimes also if things are not going in his favor also so it uh, boils down to other players uh, charts also like birat kohli other critical players who 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 would be playing uh, much much uh, more uh, uh, strong impact on the rohit sharma and the coach chart we'll see in the next video uh, till then Om Sai Ram